Since gun deer season marks a busy time for deer meat donations, local food pantries say they tend to get more venison during this time of year. But is the meat tested for CWD before it's donated? News 8's Tyler Job is here with more. Martha, to answer your question, it depends. Deer venison is tested before being donated if it was harvested in a county with confirmed CWD cases. The Wisconsin DNR requires all deer to be tested in CWD positive counties, including Vernon County, which is the closest county to La Crosse with confirmed cases. Officials say while it's a good thing to help out those in need, the DNR is always recommending you put safety first. A new gun deer season in Wisconsin means a busy time for deer meat processors. It's going to be pretty crazy around here for the next, you know, probably two weeks. St. Joe's Country Market in La Crosse is taking part in the deer donation program for the first time. We're actually pretty excited about that and hopefully we can help some families out. But that does not change the fact the Wisconsin DNR is encouraging hunters to get their deer tested for chronic wasting disease. In fact, the DNR requires all harvested adult deer to be tested for the disease in counties with positive CWD cases. We're doing disease surveillance and disease detection, so when hunters sample their deer, it gives us an idea of the geographic distribution of the disease. CWD biologist Terry Charette says sampling your deer helps everybody out. It um, gives hunters, you know, kind of that peace of mind too if, if it's something that they're concerned about. And if the meat is good to go, we'll uh, skin it and then actually cut it up and then uh, box it up, freeze it, and that's pretty much it. After that, processors send the meat to food pantries. We usually don't get a lot of ground meat in, so that's what makes it such an important uh, donation. Nicole Larson says the meat is kept in a freezer around negative 10 degrees until it gets donated. The deer meat that we get in is then distributed to over a hundred programs um, throughout the Cooley region. All they ask for is a small favor. We just encourage hunters to get out there and um, donate even if it means that they just donate a couple pounds. We love that as well. Because Soybert knows there's people out there in need. If there's a family out there that's hungry and we have all these this, this reliable resources around here like shooting deer. It's a no-brainer. Larson also told me that the Hunger Task Force of La Crosse not only gets deer meat from St. Joe's Country Market, but also Craig's Meats in Mindoro. She also said they accept meat from any processor that contacts them. All right, thanks so much, Tyler. And officials also say the Hunger Task Force of La Crosse gets about 2,000 pounds of deer meat per hunting season.